Hey guys! It is not without reason that anti-inflammatory diets are increasingly being used by people. Even celebrities love this diet. Sophia Bush uses it to take care of her asthma. Terry Hatcher uses it for more energy. Inflammation occurs with many health conditions, and some foods appear to make it worse. Eating less processed food, alcohol, and red meat and consuming more plant-based foods may help manage inflammation. However, some people have a medical condition in which the immune system does not work as it should. This malfunction can lead to persistent or recurrent low-level inflammation. Chronic inflammation occurs with various diseases such as psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, and asthma. There is evidence that dietary choices may help manage the symptoms. Inflammation occurs naturally as part of the body's immune response. When your body is fighting an infection or injury, it sends inflammatory cells to the rescue. This results in those classic signs swelling, redness, and sometimes pain. That's completely normal and natural. As long as the body stays in control, that is. The story changes when inflammation lingers and never fully goes away. This chronic inflammation means your body is always in a state of high alert, and it can trigger some major health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer. Anthocyanins, turmeric, omega-3 fatty acids, resveratrol, these are just some of the nutrients and compounds that come up when talking about the anti-inflammatory diet. Does it sound complicated? Definitely. But, it doesn't have to be so complex. At its core, the anti-inflammatory diet is a healthy Mediterranean-style diet with a focus on nutrient-dense foods and healthy fats, like salmon, avocado, nuts, and olive oil. What is the anti-inflammatory diet? The anti-inflammatory diet focuses on healthy fats, nutrient-dense foods, complex carbohydrates, legumes and plenty of fruits and vegetables. You won't see processed foods, excess added sugars, refined grains, like white bread and white flour, or red meat more than once or twice a week. The goal of this healthy diet is to reduce chronic inflammation in the body. Who can it help? An anti-inflammatory diet may serve as a complementary therapy for many conditions that become worse with chronic inflammation. The following conditions involve inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, asthma, eosinophilic esophagitis, Crohn's disease, colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, lupus, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, metabolic syndrome. Anti-inflammatory foods to focus on. Blueberries, blackberries and raspberries, cherries, pomegranate, beets, broccoli, cauliflower. Brussels sprouts, dark leafy greens, spinach, kale, chard, nuts and seeds, especially walnuts. Natural nut butters, avocado, olives and olive oil. Fish, especially salmon and tuna, legumes, lentils, chickpeas and other beans. Whole grains, quinoa, whole wheat bread, brown rice, sweet potato. Eggs, citrus fruits, garlic, herbs and spices, Greek yogurt and kefir. Foods to eat sparingly or avoid to help avoid inflammation. Refined carbohydrates such as white bread, pastries and sweets. Foods and drinks that are high in sugar including soda and other sugary beverages, red meat, dairy, processed meat such as hot dogs and sausages, fried foods. May this content help you change your life. Did you like it? Share with who you love. Friends, we have a lot of cool content on this channel. Each video is designed so that you can improve your health more and more or help others with this valuable information. Watch other videos and share with the ones you love.